Right. So, so if you really look at the the challenges uh, that we have in terms of SAP testing, um, the, the, the quite a lot, and and uh, we we just kept this slide to ensure that you know the testing is quite intimidating in terms of um, the workflows, the kind of architecture that SAP has, um, right from a billion dollar enterprise to a multi billion dollar enterprise, the kind of architecture, the kind of interfaces that they that they would have imagined, the processes across uh, varied uh, software and how do you ensure that uh, the, the, the testing is done end to end and, and uh, you know, uh, combine that with the, the volume of data that needs to be tested. So you, you might have a set of data in the last 15, 20 years and uh, what do we do with that uh, when, when you move to the new world or uh, you know when you do a release cycle or when you do a functional pack upgrade or if you're someone who has already moved to S4 HANA and you're in the older version of uh, say 16OX and you want to get into uh, 20, 2020 or 1909 or the latest version uh, because SAP recommends to do uh, an upgrade every two years, even if you're on s um, And uh, it, it kind of uh, uh, helps you to see how um, we, we can do different uh, data sets, right? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just not able to go with the flow because there's a chat that keeps coming. Right, so so the the how do we make sense of the different data sets that you have, which are valid? Uh, because when you typically look at the projects, it is more randomized to testing that consultants would do, um, which might result in errors. So they might check a few variations. Uh, they would not know the materiality of which test cases to be tested, and then you have very limited downtime when you do a, a conversion or, or a new implementation and the, and the cutover time is very less. So typically you end up doing some um, you know, randomized or, uh, testing and then you clear it and then you go into the run mode and then you look at things and, and kind of bring into the stability part. Um, and it's always left to a set of testers and, and the subject matter experts to, to identify the uh, crucial test cases and, and do a test on that only. And, and that, in, in fact, leads to lots of errors and uh, uh, the system not getting tested properly. On, on top of it, the tools that you have in the market that's been built for the last 15 years, 10 years, there, there is a, a, a management part, uh, there is a bit of uh, automation part, then there is a bit of uh, execution part, but then combining all that and putting together in, in one platform. And even, even if you if you look at it uh, closely, it is left to a set of uh, testing consultants to drive it and there's a coding involved in terms of how they can do it. So, so there's quite a lot of uh, uh, reinvention or reimagination that you can do in terms of how you go about doing your uh, testing. And then, uh, Coupled that with the, the go no go decision on a go live date uh, and and tracking who who has worked on what and which subject matter expert has tested things and have a complete visibility and transparency in terms of driving a SAP transformation, these are a, these are a set of challenges that we would be facing in terms of uh, how we can drive a proper testing. Right, so. The, the other thing is, uh, the other day while talking to a CIO, he mentioned, you know, the, there are a set of test cases that we have, but I'm not sure if we can reuse it uh, because it's still lying in a in a Word document and Excel and, uh, you know, uh, there's, 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 there should be a team that can make some sense out of it and drive the complete testing procedure. So, so testing in essence, if you have to keep moving or making advancement in terms of technologies, in terms of adapting the, the third platform of AAML or, or, or blockchain if you're a banking industry. And how do we make use cases? How do we ensure which one to absorb? And how do we run these test cases? Then that's why uh, Katern comes up with a, with a list of um, uh, functionality and, and use cases and features that you can um, expand to your uh, systems. Thank you.